Hi, I'm John from SurfFX. I'm with Sky Soldat from North, and we're checking out the new 2018 North Speedster foil. People want to know about this. That's a nice piece of, piece of kit you're holding there. They, uh, people really want to know about this. Probably more so than any product that uh, is coming around for yeah. the guys this year. Um, okay, Speedster foil. It's, yeah. Tell us about it. Uh, well, this is a product that we've put a lot of time into over the past year, or even more than the past year, and uh, we really wanted to introduce this product to the market, um, knowing that we're, we're coming up with something really uh, unique and different at a great price point, and something that's really well put together and, and really durable as well. So we feel like we've managed to accomplish all those things with this new foil and we think it's going to be a really successful product for us this year. Now, straight away, this is made for some, from some different stuff. Uh, obviously you've got, a, you've got an alloy mast here, yep. but your wings, what are these made of? So this is a pretty special material that no one else is using in the market right now and it's a molded carbon compound. So um, the great thing about this material is that it's super durable. So it's 50% carbon content and it's a molded wing, molded fuselage. And this stuff is, like you can drop this stuff on the concrete, you can run it into the reef, and it's really hard to even scratch this stuff, let alone ding it or break it. So that's what makes this technology really cool. Super stiff, super strong. Nice, now your design here, I noticed you've got very airplane influence. It's got the winglets, it's yep. got a, a ray section on the fuselage down the back. Um, these winglets, they're pretty aggressive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different than what some other uh, foil manufacturers are doing. Um, the reason we chose the winglets is uh, because it gives you what we're calling track stability. Um, so basically you can think of these winglets as, as a fin for tracking. So uh, the foil has a really positive directional stability when you're riding in a straight line. And the added benefit of the winglets is, is when you carve the board, you have this real sort of positive connected feel. So the board doesn't want to kind of jackknife and slide out from underneath you. It has a real connected feel. So you, you can really, you really feel like you can carve this foil. Good. Now, being north, I imagine there's a lot of hidden tech features like fittings and stuff. You know, we yeah. a lot of stuff is just bolts into metal and yeah. bolts for the best. Exactly. I mean, yeah. is, is, is north uh, doing anything with the electrolysis between the metals? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are. Um, the, that's not going to be a problem with ours because we have stainless on stainless. So basically uh, everywhere you have a bolt going through, the bolt is obviously made of stainless and the insert that is inserted into the aluminium is also stainless. So you will get the corrosion between the aluminium and the insert but you won't get, the, but that doesn't matter because the insert's staying inside the aluminium. But so you won't get any electrolysis between the two stainless parts. Oh, okay. So that's not going to be a problem. Taking the so foil in and out, you're never going to get any corrosion. That's handy. Yeah. Um, Speed-wise, what are these? What's this like? The what are these considered to be a fast foil? A well, foil? our our goal with this was really to have it operate at the largest, the widest speed range possible. So we didn't want to create a really slow, draggy foil, but we're also not wanting to get into the race market and go super high end with it. So. The type of profile we chose for our wing is one that has a really big speed range. It gets up and going really quickly in light wind, but it doesn't top out as quickly as some of the other foils on the market. So a lot of them are oriented towards real low end, draggy, or real high end. We wanted to have this, this sweet spot right in the middle. The vast majority of guys getting into foiling are getting into foiling, and they're beginners. Yeah. How does this rate as a, a, a guy's foil? He can, like how, can he get it as a beginner? Will he continue with it? This is, that's the really cool thing about our foil, because it operates in, in this big speed range, um, beginners will find it quite easy to learn with because it gets up and going quickly. And we're also offering a shorter mass that comes with a 60 cm mass for, for, also for surfing and for learning. Um, but it's a foil that you'll actually want to stick with for a while. Like a lot of them that are slow and draggy and easy to learn on, you'll kind of learn what you're doing and as soon as you're kind of proficient, you'll want to take the next step to something faster. This will give you a lot more longevity. You'll be able to learn on it and and uh, have a lot of fun with it, and this will have a lot of longevity in terms of, of how long you want to ride it. Well, it's definitely something that we're getting asked about all the time. We're selling quite a few foils, and this one from North, is, you know, being North is pretty well refined and, and thought out. Yeah. I, I like this. This is going to be really nice to have. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming and talking about some foils. All right, thank you.